Hello, my family. This is Randy Kay speaking. Today is a very significant date, and it is because the date that I record this message on February 6th of 2024 is the launch date for Heaven Stormed. You may or may not be familiar with that title. Uh, Heaven Stormed was a book that uh, I authored Uh, over a period of a number of years, but it was a book that I never thought I would author. And it was one that I was not allowed to author after I had died and gone into heaven traveling with Jesus. You see, Jesus had explicitly told me that I was not to share about the storm that I beheld in heaven until and if Jesus were to release me through a series of signs and and a word from the Lord. So I was entirely content with not sharing about heaven's storm. You see, I beheld the last days, what we call the end times from heaven. It was what I consider to be too great to share, far too outside what is capable, the capability of any human being to write about, let alone tell. But as I tell in the book, Jesus did release those signs, those advents, and then a definitive word from Jesus himself that I was to share about heaven's storm. So a little bit of background. When I was sitting in my office, typing away, I stopped probably, oh my goodness, dozens of times. And I couldn't, I couldn't author the words. I couldn't find the words. I couldn't express the magnitude of what I beheld. So, of course, I prayed. Numerous times I prayed. And I asked the Lord to inspire me with the words to express the unspeakable. And I quit. I quit authoring several times. In fact, uh, my publisher... Uh, I called a few times and I said, I'm sorry, Uh, I know that I had committed to writing Heaven's Storm, but I just, I can't, I cannot do it. I don't have it in me. And each time I did that, I said no, and I stopped writing and, and then I didn't go forward, the Lord convicted me. And he said something to the effect, I want you to sit down, and I'll give you the words. I'll, I'll direct your typing, your authoring of, of what you have to say. So in obedience, I sat down. I started typing away. And indeed, the words started flowing. They flowed like the rivers of heaven that I beheld in heaven. And then it stopped. And I could not go any further. So again, I called my publisher and I said, I'm sorry, I just can't write the full story. Uh, I've felt led by the Holy Spirit, but then it stopped. And it's not fair. And it's not right that I continue. So my publisher was quite accommodating and said, all right, well, if you, if you can't do it or if you shouldn't do it, then don't do it. And then the Lord convicted me again. And he said, I've given you what you need. I want you to sit down again. So I sat down. The office became brighter. It actually glowed with a light beyond the lights that I actually had in the office It was truly supernatural. And I felt warm, like a soothing elixir had poured through me. And I knew that the Holy Spirit was with me. So I started typing again. And I went back to heaven as Jesus led me to what we commonly refer to as the throne room, to behold the Father, to behold the angels around the throne room, to behold what was to happen that would be poured forth on earth. 
the glory of God being poured forth on earth that I beheld. The presence of God Almighty declaring from his throne the words, it is finished. And then seeing what that meant on earth. The removal of his protection from the earth and the tribulation period which brought me to tears and agony as when I was in heaven, I said to Jesus, please don't let me see these things. But I was there again and I was authoring it under this inspiration that I knew wasn't just me. I knew the Holy Spirit was with me, giving me the strength, giving me some of the words to express what I previously thought was inexpressible. And then I came to the point where it ended. Not, not life as we know, as well, certainly as we know it, but life as, as would continue into eternity, but a new life, a new creation, a new earth, and a new heaven that the Lord had brought me to, to see as well. And that was the culmination of what I beheld. When I returned from heaven, after I had seen this storm, I looked for signs. I researched the Bible and I explained all of this and heaven stormed, trying to assimilate the information that I had had learned in heaven, the, the sights, the sounds, the assurances from God in his majesty. And then one day, as I went to Lake Tahoe, California, and met with a group of men for a retreat, a men's retreat from church, I saw him again. It was different than being in heaven. I beheld the Lord Jesus, not visually, but in my spirit in a different way because I was in my body. But Jesus had visited me again because I had missed him. And he confirmed to me that indeed what he previously had said I could not state or express to anyone, I would indeed be released to do. It was confirmation amongst all of the scriptures, amongst all of the research, confirming that indeed we are living now within the end times, the storm having been released. One of the facets of the process of going to heaven that you may realize is what's commonly termed as life reviews. Life reviews, my family, are those events in our life that the Lord God has called out to show us again in heaven. It's a replay that is as real, if not more real, than our having been there in the first place. But so many with whom I've interviewed, including myself, have testified that these life reviews do happen. But I don't recall anyone explicitly or explaining, I should say, what those life reviews are about and why Jesus reveals them. So in the book, I go through an in-depth review of why Jesus presented these life events to me in heaven and why they were significant and I hope they will help you to understand how anything that happens in life is not purely happenstance and nothing goes to waste. God uses every minutia in our life and he redeems it and he uses it for good. And I think you'll see that in heaven stormed. I think you'll see from the period of time where I started off in my childhood and grew up as an agnostic 
into uh, what I call a militant agnostic, one who, who really didn't want anything to do with Christianity, tried to disprove Christianity at a major university to now speaking before you as one who is not only a believer, but one who is a witness to Jesus Christ, to the Lord God Almighty, to the Word of God, the Bible, and to the prophecies, and there are many of them in the Bible, that are being borne out as we live today. Beloved of the Lord Jesus Christ, I hope you are able to get a copy of Heaven Stormed. It's now available on all of the major book outlets. And when you order it, you should get it in the mail maybe the day after or soon thereafter because it has officially launched. And I'd like to hear from you as to what you think about it, how it affected your life, how it impressed upon you the reality, the hope, and the storyline behind God's authoring of this life on this earth, which will come to a close to lead to a much better place than any human being has ever experienced on earth. Please let me know on randyk.org what you think about the book, how it affected you. Certainly you can go to Amazon or any of the major outlets and leave your own review as well. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that heaven storm helps transform your life so that the word of God will become more alive to you. So that the promises of God will become real to you and that the trials and tribulations will seem not just daunting but meaningful to the point where you will look back on them and think it was all worth it dear Lord because we live in a troublesome time and the storm beloved of the Lord is being released and when it hits as it's happening in certain parts of the world right now know this that the end has already been written and God will never leave your side never if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and I pray that you confess Jesus as your Lord right now that you know he went to the cross and shed his blood so that he could offer forgiveness to you if you ask him and invite him to become Lord of your life. Then indeed, my experience will not be unique in that it will be your experience. So I hope, beloved of the Lord, that having read Heaven Stormed, you will be better prepared and also filled with God's presence so that you can rejoice and be glad for the Lord God is having his way. Take care and God bless.